Hey guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are good you guys? Good evening, everybody. Fine. All right, I like that energy. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry I lost uh, today because uh, I had problem in my computer, but okay, the, the, this day is okay for the start the, the, the class, the English class. <laughs> okay, all right, that's great. All right, so, um, so how's your day at work? Yes, it was uh, so so stressful, stressful. It because it was stressful because it's a very hard. Uh, it had some problem to resolve, but uh, this was okay uh, in generally. <laughs> All right, it was okay in general. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's nice, Carla. How about you? How was your How was your day today? How was your day at work? Uh, I will say the same. This has been stressful. I just came home a few minutes ago, but everything is good. We have a job. All right. All right. That's great. That's great. Okay. So I see more people joining in. Glad to see you here, guys. Uh, Gio. How's everything today? Everything. Everything's good, man. Everything's good? Yeah. Ready to rumble? I say. Are you going to play the guitar today for us? <laughs> I had. Today, not today. I, I burned my tongue, my, my tongue, my finger. What? Oh, <laughs> you burned, hurt? Oh, you I burned, burned my you, finger. You burned your, your finger? Yeah, I was cooking. How did that? Oh, oh, because you were cooking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's careful. All right, I'm still waiting for the dogs in the background. You know, <laughs> you're gonna hear them soon. You know, as, uh, I wait as soon as they're too. as soon as the owners come back <laughs> home. So, <laughs> all right, guys, very good. All right, so uh, let's see who's missing. Okay, we only have six people. Yes. All right, very good, okay. Uh, we'll give them uh, just uh, three more minutes. And uh, Caesar, how's everything, Caesar? Great, but I have to read a lot of things, so. Uh, oh, you're, you're studying, are you studying? Oh yeah, you're, you're going to, to college, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Difficult things that I found, that I didn't understand, but <laughs> I try. Okay. All right, very good. All right, very good, guys. Uh, let's see who else here. Uh, Michelle, hello, Michelle. How's everything? So it's been a very busy day. I have been doing some uh, things related to the university. So it's been a tough day. All right, all right. Well, I'm glad that you're here too. All right, uh, well, welcome aboard. I think that that covered everyone, right? What happened to the rest of the guys, guys? All right, uh, so let's see Nelson. Welcome back, Nelson. How's everything? Hello. Thank you, teacher. All right, how, how was everything today, Nelson? Uh, today, um, very busy because uh, I went, went out uh, all day. Okay. Yeah. Where did you uh, go? Uh, um, um, uh, at the it's a, a particular clinic or clinic. A, li a little hospital, yeah, because uh, my mother uh, uh, go went out went went to the doctor, yeah. Okay. Oh, what 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 happened? Um. Uh, is um, the the sugar levels are very very down. Oh, uh, oh does, does uh, she uh, have? I'm sorry to hear yes, that. Uh, uh, hypo, hypoglycemia. I, I think it's uh, it's hypo. Yeah, uh, yeah. Something like that. I don't know the name in English to be honest. Hypoglycemia, something like that. Yeah. So it's it's that's the that's the opposite of diabetes, right? Yeah, but. Uh, 
the, the doctor will say that this, uh, uh, or, or there are some something uh, emotional facts in your in his in her life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah emotions you know can emotions, yeah. can uh, mess up with your sugar levels. You're right about that. I know that. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Anyways, welcome back, guys. We're going to start now. Um, I don't know what happened to the rest of the gang, but thank you so much, guys. Uh, thanks to you guys for being early. All right. So let's get some practice, guys. Time for a quick verbal, well, actually, oral evaluation. Uh, we're going to talk about connecting ideas, and we're also going to talk about tag questions, all right? Oops, all right. Very good, guys. So can we all see the presentation? Yes? Yes. All right. Very good, guys. All right. So, guys, how do we connect ideas? So, when we're talking, guys, if you want to sound more fluent, right? I one day, guys, I told you that you must. You now, every time that you're giving out your opinion, you should focus on. You know the what, right? The what, and then you know you must talk about the why, right? Within the why, guys, you can include A, right? You can include the when, you can include the, the where, you can include the who, right? Uh, you can include, are we missing something here? The, okay, how, right? So these will make you sound more fluent, right? But always, guys, what you'll, you'll always have is the what and the why, okay? This kind of messed up just now, all right, anyways. So for example, guys, if you ask me, you know, what my favorite movie is, what would be the what, guys? What would be your, um, let's see, okay, let's do an exercise. Uh, what would be your favorite movie? Uh, let's see, Carla. I'm sorry, what? Martian. Martian, okay. All right, so your favorite movie is The Martian, see? So you can say, you can say, the what would be The Martian, right? So you can say, my favorite movie is The Martian. And then let's talk about the why. Why is that, you know, why is The Martian your favorite movie? And here, guys, you can include the word. So why is Martian your favorite movie, Carla? Because it's about survival. Because it's about what? This is your microphone. Survival. survival. Is that what you said? Survival? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So because, okay, so here's the why, right? Because it's about survival, right? Survival. I think I've watched that movie guys before. So I might know. I just don't remember quite well. All right, anyway, so she says, hey, you know what? That's my favorite movie because it's about um because it's about survival all right survival now here guys okay let's include everything else all right and that will be where where would it be carla what, what would be the where uh, in mars. okay yes. very good survival on mars okay not in mars guys the preposition would be on mars right if we're talking about planets it's on mars okay so the Martian is my favorite movie because it's about survival on Mars. All right, let's talk about the when or the who or the how. Let's talk about the who. All right, give me a who. It could be the character, it could be the protagonist, whatever. An astronaut. Okay, an astro Okay, very good. Okay, an ast an astronaut. Okay. All right, I think it's how do you spell it, guys? Like this, an astronaut. All right, look it up, guys, if it's misspelled, okay, and, and let's spell it correctly, okay? Anyways, right? Very good. So see, we got, we got, you know, we can be, we can sound more fluent now, right? My favorite movie is The Martian because it's about survival. Uh, it's about survival on Mars. It's, um, so there is this astronaut, all right? And then you can keep going with the why and the, uh, the why, and again, guys, the where or the how, okay? There is, uh, so there is this astronaut who, uh, I think it's about gets lost um, in space, right? And ends up on Mars, 
Okay, something like that, right? So we're still, you know, we're still talking about the word now, all right? So this is how you you um, you end up with a conversation, guys, with a fluent conversation, right? And this is not only in English, guys, but in any language, okay? Very good, guys. So now the expressions that we have here, guys, will help us connect ideas in different ways. You can say, for example, let me try to make this a little bit bigger. All right, you can say, for example, you know, um, I'm looking to talk about one of my favorite movies, guys. I'm, I'm not sure, guys, because my favorite movie is probably Interstellar, but it's between that, The Matrix, Saving Private Ryan, and, and, um, and Hacks the Rich or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so those are like, you know, my top notch movies. All right, so, so let's talk about The Matrix. Again, we're going to talk about The Matrix. The Matrix trilogy, actually, because I like them all. All right, so I'm going to say, you know, The Matrix is about... The Matrix is about the world falling apart because it was taken over by machines, okay? See? As a result, see now, I'm going to connect another idea, guys, okay? As a result, okay, I can use as a result. I can use as a consequence. All right, if you want, write it down, guys, so you can, you know, use them in your expressions because you're going to practice. You can use therefore. You can use thus. You can use consequ uh, consequently, right, consequently. All right so on and so forth right so anyways as a result the world now i'm talking about the word right the world is destroyed and humans block the sunlight because because what because machines were fed by sunlight you know or it, because machines were taking energy from the sunlight and blah blah blah. okay All right i'm not gonna give you the whole <laughs> recap guys on what it is okay but notice guys notice how this sounds more professional guys instead of saying this is usually guys what happens when we speak another language other than english and we we try to you know we we try to we don't apply the what the why the where the how blah 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 right so what happens here guys is that we end up talking like uh, my favorite movie is The Matrix. Um, I love The Matrix. Um, I think it's good. Uh, it's a good movie because um, it's it's about machines, and um, and I like it a lot. Has that ever happened to you guys? All the time. Okay. All right. Yeah, so let's talk about the what, and why, right? So listen, all right, now check this out, right? I didn't even read this, guys. I just made this up, right? I This is what I remember from the trilogy. The trilogy. Uh, the Matrix is about the world falling apart because it was taken over by machines. As a result, the world is destroyed and humans block the sunlight because machines were taking energy from it, okay? I'm not going to, I'm going to use a preposition here because it's redundant, okay? From it, okay? Now, does this sound, guys, like something that, you know, like an explanation that you would hear or read? you know, that you would hear on TV or read, guys? Yes. All right. It sounds way more professional, right? Like, you could, you could be, like, talking like this on the news, right? Hello, guys. The Matrix is about the world falling apart because it was taken over by machines. As a result, the world is destroyed and humans block the sunlight because machines were taking energy from it. All right, see? It will make you sound more professional, right? Anyways, guys, so... Um, as I as mentioned before, you can use these expressions to give uh, your opinion. So far, so good, guys. Any questions? So you're going to practice, all right? You guys are going to practice, and I just want you to... You don't need to use all the expressions, guys. Use just one of them, okay? Use uh, as a result or as a consequence, so on and so forth, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is, is that... Sure. Go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. I don't know what's a 
the means or synonyms of hands or what is the correct pronunciation? Hence, 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 hence. That's the, that's the pronunciation. Hence, uh, the synonym is like thus or therefore, or as a result, or as a consequence, or for this reason, or due to. <laughs> uh, you can use forever, and is that like uh, some meaning? Yes, exactly. These are connectors, right? These are linking words. Well, these are basically link linking expressions in some cases, right? um okay so yeah you can use you can use any of them okay all right i was just showing here guys okay i was showing up um well i was show, just showing you that I, I used as a result but i could have said you know because it was taken over by machine hence the world is destroyed and humans block the sunlight or i could have said consequently uh the world is destroyed and and, and, and humans block the sunlight or i could have said hence or or for this reason or due to now i don't like you talking uh saying for this reason because uh i don't know guys it sounds like very spanish okay so say something else right all right very good guys the good question um do you have any other question we're good yeah no more question thank you all right very good guys very good so um so let's like, take a look at other expressions okay now if you're gonna express your opinion i have one question guys to ask you during the during the the exercise that we're going to do today but I, i'll leave it up to you guys so I, I i will give you the answer i mean the, the the question that we got here or you can talk about your favorite movie whatever makes you feel more comfortable all right so expressing opinions okay so you can start with how do we read this yes how how will you read that if you ask me, okay, if you ask me, if you ask me, you know, I think coronavirus is a hoax. I'm kidding. I don't think so, guys, but, but you know, uh, that's how you would express your opinion, right? Uh, the way I see it, you know, the way I see it, the way I see you standing there, it looks like you want to, you want some, some fight, right? No, or you can say the way I see it, you know, it looks like we are going to have a better a better 2000, well, a better year than, than 2020, right? This is if you're gonna express your opinion. If you're gonna give reasons, guys, you can say that's why, or this is why, or the reason for that is, okay? So write down those expressions, guys, because I, I don't want you to use them. All right, or if you're gonna disagree, guys, you can say, mm, that might be true, but uh, I see your point, but, okay. Or you could say, but guys, but. <laughs> This sounds more professional, okay? So these expressions, okay, what, what's the difference, guys? Why are you not using like a simpler expression? The reason why, guys, is that this will make you sound more professional. And that's the whole point about this. All right. You good, guys? Are you ready? So I'm going to be listening in, guys, and uh, I'll give you feedback. Please, guys, don't stop talking in English. All right. Try to use this vocabulary. And I'll give you feedback. Um, I'll give you feedback inside the, the breakout session, okay? Now, if you run out of time, guys, and I'm, I don't have time to evaluate all of you, uh, we're just gonna go come back here. We're gonna continue with that on a different day. All right, very good. So, question one, guys, what do you think about climate change? All right now, this is a topic, guys. We're gonna you're probably gonna have to have a little bit more knowledge about if maybe you know you don't even know about that in spanish guys so if you want to change that guys you could change that too you know what's your favorite movie about okay now this will make you express your opinion all right if you're done with that you know if you're done talking about climate change that's okay you can change the topic as long as you practice expressing your opinion and you use connectors the connectors that i showed you before those connectors can also be found on the platform, right? Sounds like a plan. Yes? It does. Yes. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get started then. All right. I think we're good like this. Hold on. Let's see, sir. 
All right, guys, let's practice. Oh, and then uh, Navas just came in. All right. Sorry, I'm late. I that's okay. Ran, that's okay, Rosa. I'm from, from my work. <laughs> all right, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you for coming. All right. Uh, we're about to practice now, so let's let's join the breakout session. Okay. <laughs> You good, Jill? And, and, okay, very good. You good, Jill? Sorry? You good? Did you get the invite? No. Oh, you haven't, okay. That's weird. No. All right, uh, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna get you into a room right now, but that's not the room you're gonna be in, okay? I'm gonna switch over to the room that you had before. So let's see if, you, if it comes up. Do you see them? Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, we'll stop. All right, so I'm gonna move you over to the to the other room, Gio. Um, okay. All right, very good. You see hey guys. You see Hi. What do you do? I'm going to look for a. Uh, exact definition because I'm not sure. Uh, it's about the weather, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You good, the, girls? Uh, you we good? are trying to get an overview of what is climate change. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. I mean, it's either that or, or you can, you know, you can switch the topic over to, um, you know, you can talk about your favorite movie, perhaps. All right. But it's okay. It's it. I'm I'm actually glad that you're researching. Okay, I'll be right back then when you start uh, practicing. All right, I'm gonna check on the other guys right now. All right. Sounds okay. good. See you. Yes. Okay. They're beginning the, to talk about. <laughs> 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 what do you want to talk about? It, uh, is, well, we. I think this is uh, about the rock. What do you think about the rock? You, you are <laughs> a specialist about yeah, this. Well, other people ask me about that. Yes. I like ranchera, man. <laughs> because you look a lot like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your guitar is, is, is behind you. Uh, Another yeah. guitar is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let, let, let me begin about them. Uh, I then let me remember when I was 15. Um, I I heard my first band at the age of 15. I remember I was in sixth grade, and uh, I heard my first band was Poison. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was Poison, and then I heard a uh, death metal band called obituary and as a result <laughs> and as a result i became a metal lover because man i love metal and then i i start to to heard a lot of bands like in that time uh, metallica iron maiden that that oh, yeah. were my influences yeah Yes. And as a consequence, I become <laughs> a, a rocker. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. When, when I was when I was a child, uh, I heard about the uh, Pink Floyd. <laughs> Only the, uh, yes. Um, hey, yeah. I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't. Uh, I, ha I have an error. I, I I told you that I I was fifteen when I heard my first band. <laughs> Man, no. When I was six in the sixth grade, I heard my first band. But uh, at yeah. the age of fifteen, I got my first guitar. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, is, is the guitar is a is a uh, what is the bass the bass or, or... no nah, guitar six, guitar ah uh, yes six ah uh, yes. yeah yes. But uh, when when. 
when I was a child, only um, I, uh, I uh, in, in the rock I heard about the 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 only the the gum rose or or, or the uh, I don't mind them uh, some some rock, but uh, it's uh, it, uh, and the and, and, and the Pink Floyd. This is it was the, the beginning of this. I heard the the uh, about the the kind of music the rock. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share feedback with you right now. Keep practicing, okay? Uh, I just have to evaluate everyone, so I'm, I I need to I need to share feedback with you, okay? So I'll start with you, Gio. Uh, great job, great great job. Actually, I think that you can express your ideas correctly, and you have a, a great order of ideas. There is something I don't know what your goal for English is. Why you're studying English? Why are you studying English? I didn't study English. <laughs> What I did in the study. No, but I mean, why are you studying English? Why are you, what, what's your goal? Ah, why my are you goal. learning? Um, I don't know. I, I, I like languages. In fact, I, I, I was studying German. <laughs> in, oh, okay. Um, All right. In the last years. But okay. I like just for culture. <laughs> All right, culture. Okay. All right, very good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I was just going to say, okay, there is something called epsilons. This is the feedback that we're going to share with you, right? Yeah. There is something called epsilons. And epsilons, what they do is that it's a pronunciation of the sound, okay? Uh, it's not difficult to pronounce. It's just, all right? You don't say yeah. I start because that, that's an S. It's not an A, right? You say I start. Just let it let it flow, man. I start. I start. Right. Now, the other problem that we had here is that you were talking in the past, okay? Uh, and uh, and you're talking in the present instead, okay? You say, I start instead of I started. Right. Okay, I started to listen to, right? And you say to hear, right? I started to hear or to listen to actually and when, you, when you, you know, play music, you listen to the music, right? Hearing yeah. is, you know... Um, like not paying attention, right? Yeah. So, uh, and then you say, I become, right? Which is an irregular verb in the I past. Became. You should have said, I became, very good, all right? So I became okay. and so on and so forth, right? Very good. Other than that, uh, that was really great, man. Yeah. That was great. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Ricardo, Ricardo, you're, um, I'm, you're not shy, okay? That's the good thing about you. You're not shy when you're expressing your ideas, all right? Yes. Um, I think that's that's probably because of your age, but, right, but you don't shy away, so that's good. Now, the problem here, again, I don't know what your goal is, but if you want to learn, you know, the, the right pronunciation. I, I understand you because I speak Spanish too, but probably, you know, someone from America might not be able to understand everything. And the reason why is because what, when you, what you say sounds like a way different word, okay? For example... You, you said shy instead of child. Listen to the big difference in the pronunciation, right? So there, there, is, there, is, there is a gap there, all right, that uh, we need to work on, okay? Hold on, hold on, give me one second. I'll be right back because somebody is in the, not in the session and I don't see her joining here. Hold on. Give me one second. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. 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 I need to get her to join. Oh no, no, she's 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 good. I think. No, she's good now. She's good now. All right. Very good, guys. So moving on. Okay. So the pronunciation. You you have to take care, Ricardo, of the final consonants. Okay. Believe okay. me. You might think that we might think, guys, as Spanish speakers, that we we people understand us. You know, from from. Like native people understand us when we say, you know, I, 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 I shy, right? No, guys, that that's that is not understandable, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so you need to pronounce it like child, okay? That's how you pronounce it. You know, when I was a child, and listen to that that at the end. When I was a child, okay, so was a child. the way you can improve that, Ricardo, is by exaggerating that sound, okay? When I was a child, and then you say you say in the rock I heard. Uh, I, yeah. I think I think you wanted to say I listened to rock, okay? So mm -hmm. that's that's uh, so you, this is what you say in the rock I heard, and and then I heard 
that verb right there, it's heard. See, yeah. there is that D at the end, right? Yeah. And then you said the gone and uh, the gone rose, something like that. All right, I heard guns, all right, guns mm -hmm. and roses, okay. Uh, then you say mm -hmm. I don't, and like that, you say like I don't mind then. This is what, what, what it sounded like. I don't mind then, okay. It's actually iron maiden, right? Mm -hmm. And then you say, and the pin floy, right? There, there shouldn't be any articles in that. That would be in pink. I right? listen to that pink, pink, pink. Floyd. Pink. Yes, pink. pink. That K at the end, right? The pink Floyd. Wow. And I heard pink Floyd, right? So that's it, Ricardo. Okay. Um, Thank you. Thank you. You're very confident. Okay, that's good. All right. But uh, if you want to improve pronunciation, <laughs> exaggerate those sounds. Okay. Ah, yes. right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All Thank right, you. I'll check on the other guys. No, thanks for you guys. Hello, Freddy. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, so oh. it started to floating and a lot of people started to be crazy and they don't know how, what to do. They don't know what but, to do, yes. Sorry? And if you, yes, um, many people, they get in this, um, let's say, situation. And as you mentioned, they then they blame uh, the government, they blame the city halls. And usually these people are the ones who throw garbage away. So yeah. the sewage gets, um, let's say, trapped, it gets blocked, and water cannot run, run freely, let's say, it cannot flow. That is the correct word. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That is why we had these big problems and we blame others instead of taking action to prevent it. Yeah. yeah. People had to change a lot. Mm -hmm. They had to, I don't know, have better uh, habit, habit. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. The worst part about uh, having these bad habits, it's that there are kids behind us that they um, take, let's say, the bad example of their parents. I had seen uh, so many people throwing garbage uh, from the window. But, well, if they, if they are going in buses, and it's really, <clears throat> it's really sad because kids, they see that, that it's normal. And it's yeah. not normal. That it's a really, really bad habit. What do you think, Adriana? Hey, good, good job, Michelle. What do you think? <laughs> Hi there. Uh, what do you think, Adriana? Adriana? Uh, I think that, uh, I don't know if it's very important. Your, your microphone, you, uh, uh, there you go. Now? Yes. Uh, sorry, 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 okay. Uh, it's very important here in Sabar, well, around the world, but here, uh, I was telling to Michelle that uh, right now we are on summer and it should be hot, but I saw that in some places it started to rain and it's very crazy because, I don't know, <laughs> it shouldn't happen. And okay. Continue, continue, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and I think that it happened because the people, uh, I don't know, and, and <laughs> okay. All right, very good. All right, good job. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna share feedback to you, Michelle and and Adri, Anna. Um, first of all, uh, your 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 English is is very advanced. Uh, you have a nice tone of voice, and this goes for both of you. Um, I like how you try to order your ideas correctly before bringing them out to the conversation. Uh, now, the things that we would need to correct, Michelle, you're doing pretty well, actually. I don't really have, uh, you know, I, I don't really have any, any, anything else to say aside from vocabulary, okay? You say, you're saying throwing garbage away, and that's okay, but but the, the action, all right, what you want to say is littering, okay? You say, oh, yeah. I don't like, you know, I don't like people littering, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And then you said, 
it i think that you were talking about the sewers right and then you said it the gets the okay yeah the switch system or the, the switch you know switch is an adjective, an adjective okay the sewers you mean oh, okay. Very good. Okay. yes okay all right so the sewers okay. yes so uh so the sewers right you, then you say it gets block right when you use get you know the next word has to be in past participle right so the right pronunciation would have been it gets blocked okay very good okay you got it All right other than that that that's amazing you know really really good english okay adriana all right i told you about the positive things already so i'm gonna skip over that um with you adriana there there isn't much i just pronunciation and some grammar you know corrections that we need to do here and there by the way i'm gonna share the feedback with you girls all right we're good so anyways okay um so you adrena you said on summer the preposition for that would be in summer all right it usually goes like this guys when you use on it's actually when it's actually on something right or when you're being specific about something you're if you're ever confused about which preposition you know to use then think about being really specific or not okay and that that'll give you kind of the answer that's the reason why you say on mars you know and not in mars all right there there, there are some prepositions guys that you have to know you know when to use them right uh and then you say i thin all right and the the pronunciation is it's a short a sound right like a a right and you have to pronounce the final consonant at the end i think let, let me hear you, uh, Adriana. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Think. Not, not really. Okay, you pronounce it. Do you pronounce the final consonant now? But the vowel sound is a, just a, a, a. Relax, relax the, relax the muscles here. Just go like you don't care about something, you know, like a, 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 e. Right. That a sound. Okay, that's the the sound that you want to make. I think. I think. Very good, good job, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, very good, okay. And you said the, peop the people, all right. Now, if you're not being specific about something, you, there is no need to for, you know, to use peop that people, okay. Uh, you didn't use an article there, it would be only people, all right. I should show you a picture of my sister, Adriana. <laughs> you look like, wait, you look like one of my sisters. <laughs> All right. Yes, I also saw that you both look alike, teacher. Yeah, you're very. She's even the the eyebrows. You know, maybe you're uh -huh. a family member, and the, eyes, <laughs> and the eyes. All right, very good, very good. Okay, but she does. I have I have two sisters. You know, I have actually I have many, but like two sisters are like my sister's sisters, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, you look you look a lot like my sister. <laughs> Anyways, good job, girls. All right, you're doing great. All right, so let me go back. Job. Hey guys. Grateful. Hi, teacher. All right. So I'm 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 sorry, guys. I giving feedback to two groups already. Oh my god! I didn't think I didn't think that it was gonna take long. We're gonna go back and then we're gonna come back. Okay. Okay. Just so I can inform okay. All right, guys. Welcome back. Okay, guys. So um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm still giving feedback to everyone. Uh, I do want to give feedback to everyone because I think it's important if you want to learn how to talk. Okay. Now, guys, I came back here because I don't want you to get bored. All right. And I don't want you to stop practicing, but I'll get into your rooms. All right. I've gotten, guys, I've gotten two groups already. I've given feedback to four people already. So I'm still giving feedback to everybody else. Um, if you finished practicing with this question, guys, go ahead and ask your other questions, okay? Just ask uh, ask open questions, okay? Opinions, guys, all right? Maybe, right, you can talk about um, talk about things, you know, general things, uh, you know, things that people give opinions on all the time, right? Maybe, you know, what's your opinion, right, about, what's your opinion about COVID-19? Right. This could be another topic. Right. Or you can talk, um, you know, why did you decide to learn English? Right. Um, anyways, 
I'm probably not going to have time, guys, to go over um, like all of you guys. I'm just going to quickly, guys, get into your breakout session room. I'm going to listen to a couple of words. All right? I'm just going to listen to you for one minute, guys. Uh, one minute each, each and uh, I'll give you feedback right there, okay? Um, because because giving feedback, guys, it's, it's like it takes a long time, right? And I don't want you to get bored. Sounds good? All right, very good. Now, the other Sorry. thing, guys, all right? Uh, we still have to talk about tag questions, so so that, that's that's the reason why I want you to do this, okay? Uh, I do want to bring up, guys, some uh, common mistakes that we commonly make. Guys, please, 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 if you're talking, guys, in English, you have to pronounce the final consonants, okay? All right? And you have to pronounce them correctly, right? Saying shy, guys, okay? When I was a chai or when I was a shy, right? When I was a... I have heard this, okay, when I was a shy, okay, or, you know, you could say when I was a chai, right, this doesn't exist, guys, okay, all right, for an American, guys, if, uh, as a Spanish speaker, we can understand you, right, but I wouldn't understand it, I, I really can't understand you guys if I'm thinking, thinking in English, right, you have to pronounce child, and see, there is a D at the end, right, so that's how you pronounce that, right, child when i was a child right all the another thing guys that, that this is a very common mistake from everybody right now i uh, eat the endings okay remember we have three rules for eating endings right we have real quick you know the it sound right we got the test sound and then we have the da sound okay the the da right <laughs> all right so these guys okay pronounce these words i worked Right. This is a Word. this is a test sound, right? I kissed her, right? This is a test sound as well. See? I um I listened, right? See, this is a that sound now, right? I listened to them, right? All right. I I started, right? This is a it sound now. See? I'm not gonna go over the rules, guys, but but what I wanted, what basically as bottom line, what I'm saying here is that just pronounce them, okay? All right, let's try to make the effort of pronouncing them so you can sound more, uh, so you can be understandable for English speakers. Good? All right, so we're just gonna be, um, just gonna be evaluating you guys for five more minutes and then we're gonna jump, uh, we're gonna go straight over to the next topic, okay? Okay. All right, let's go guys. Cool. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so let me yes. ask you real quick. How are you? All good? All good, yeah. All good. All right, Cesar, let's go. Or Carla, doesn't matter. Uh, answer the question that you gave us before yeah. a anything right i just want you to i just want to hear you right now and uh it'll be great if you can use the you know the linking words or the phrases that that i've taught you okay so carla I will ask you what do you think what's your favorite movie about my favorite movie is um science fiction movies um i also like interstellar for me it's a time travel movie and I was uh, telling you about another movie that uh, it's called The Guardian yeah it's uh, with with Kevin Costner uh, and you should you should give it a try all right good job real quick um, I'm not going to go over the positive things so much because you guys are advanced and uh, you are at that level. Uh, so I'm going to give you feedback right now, Carla. All right. But uh, really, really cool job. I don't have anything else to say so far from what I've heard. Uh, let's work on the R sound because that R was in Spanish. Okay, you say for me, right? For me. All right. It's for, for me. All right. That, that was a very, very small Okay. Area opportunity and the pronunciation. I think that you corrected it or you try to correct it later, but you say you should, right? And it's you should. Just like that, you should. Should. 
Repeat you should. 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 All right. Very good. Okay, Noel. Uh, but aside from that, very good job. Great order of ideas. And um, that's it. Good job so far. Okay, Caesar. Let Let me hear you. Okay. Uh, for me, the uh, the top movie I had have ever watched is uh, uh, the Coach Carter movie. Its name is uh, Road to Glory. I feel very uh, related with that because I play basketball too. Uh, all the experience that I had, uh, I live I live with that when I play in the high school, all the great, uh, uh, all the great matches that we had against all the, uh, to the other high school teams, uh, all the experience as a great coach that tried to give you uh, every lesson that he knows, he tried to give you in the best way. And all right, very good. I'm gonna stop you right now. Uh, you can continue, right? Uh, this is the feedback I'm gonna share with you. All right, great job at uh, explaining. Uh, you, you're, 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 you, okay. You, um, you buffer. You know, do you know what buffering is? It's like when you make long pauses, right? When you go like, yeah. All right, I because you're trying to think about the other idea, right? And probably I don't know if you're you're translating, you're trying to you know translate as you're speaking, right? But that happens, okay. you know that 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 a lot that actually stops you from sounding fluent if you, if you go like that, right? So, anyways, let's start talking about your areas of opportunity, right? You said I have ever watched, all right? And yeah, the pronunciation, I would recommend you because it's it was not only the this was not only the the you no know, like one mistake, uh, it was actually two. Please review ED endings, okay? You can go to YouTube or you can, you know, just review it here, right? Because um, you said I have ever watched, and the pronunciation should be watched. No, watched. watched. Right, with a ta at the end, watched. Okay. All right, it's the the best movie that I've ever watched. All right, and then you say I live it. All right, I lived it. I lived it. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, then you say all the great matches. All the great matches, all the great matches. Great. Okay, great. All right, very good. Great. Uh, to the other high school teams. Okay, now this is a center structure. Right? All the all the great matches to the other high school teams. No, doesn't bring it much of that. Doesn't make sense, right? That I play. That I play. Yeah. All right. All right. Very I good. Okay. You. All right. Yeah, I know, man. I know, but but you're doing great, man. Okay. Uh, good job, guys. Good job. I'll try to evaluate different people uh on uh tomorrow but uh i'll i'll we're gonna go back now okay okay thank you we're good we're good okay all right guys welcome back good job guys all right guys so i didn't get the chance guys to evaluate absolutely everyone because we're 15 people it's impossible guys to evaluate you uh in such a short amount of time even if it is one minute of me hearing you However, guys, uh, I am. We're gonna practice some more tomorrow, and I will evaluate the people whom I didn't evaluate today. All right. So please join early so we can do that early and we can move on with the class, right? I just want to mention, guys, we're gonna talk about tag questions as well. All right. Uh, but I, I'd like to start it now. All right. Um, <clears throat> some feedback, guys, that I wanna that uh, that I do wanna share with everyone, guys. Uh, aside from ED endings and final consonants, you know, try guys, you know, try not to think in Spanish, okay? All right, this will help you out a lot, okay? So try not to think in Spanish because because then, you know, you take longer to speak and also, you know, you're looking for the translation of words. Mm -hmm. All right, try not to do it, okay? It's hard at the beginning, guys. It's hard at the beginning, but but it is possible, okay? Right now, you know, I don't think in Spanish, guys. I don't even dream in Spanish. It's weird, but that's because I work. Like, the only language I speak the whole day is English, pretty much. And then then I go to the gym and I speak Spanish there. But then after that, you know, that's it. <laughs> and then, you know, I, I talk for a bit, but I'm, like, too busy all the time, guys, to, to talk in Spanish to anyone. So uh, perhaps, you know, on, on, on weekends, right, when I'm off. But other than that, guys, okay, it'll come out naturally the more you speak, okay? Anyways, guys, so... Um, so let's take a look at the first example, okay? Veronica, would you please be so kind to help me read the first example? Uh, you know what question tags are, don't you? 
Very good. You know what? Okay, remember, guys, the pronunciation of these guys is like a yo, right? Yeah. You, you, yeah. you, 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 right? It's like an e, yeah. guys, okay? Yeah. You, all right? You know yeah. what question tags are, don't you? All right? Thank Very you. good. So, a tag question, guys. Let me ask you something. This, this part right here, guys, is that a question or is that a sentence? A sentence? A question. It's a sentence. It's a sentence, okay? It's a sentence, okay? All right. All right. I'm sorry, what was that? The question is for making feedback. For for making feedback? Yeah. Okay, yeah, are you, 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 you giving feedback? Yeah, yeah, sorry, giving feedback or uh, when you need to more information or when you need more information all right very good it's actually guys it's it's like forcing yeah. someone yeah. guys to say yes or no right yeah. and and yes it's it's for like, when, you, when you want someone to agree or disagree yeah. you know it has multiple uses and it's also what veronica says okay so so here guys we have a sentence and then we have a question all right the question is always followed i mean not followed guys but preceded by a comma, right? So we got a comma down here, all right, before the tag question, right? So if I say, guys, you know what tag questions are, don't you, right? Am I, do you, does that sound like I'm forcing you guys to agree with me or disagree? Totally. You're looking right. for agree. Very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so you're right. looking for, for agreement, right? Yeah. All right. Agreement. Yeah. Remember not to use it with everything, right? Because you can say, you like me a lot, don't you, right? <laughs> That's not a good situation to bring to bring this in, okay? All right, so don't 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 say something like that, right? Now, uh, let's take a look at this. If not, I'm sure you have heard them before. What do you think? Is this a sentence? Yes. Yes, it's a sentence. All right, it is a sentence, right? All right, the dogs are out now. <laughs> it is a sentence, guys. Okay, All right. Now, what's what's going on here, guys? Why am I saying haven't you? Because of the tense that you use in the sentence. Very good, guys. When you think about tag questions, guys, you always have to keep an eye on the auxiliary, okay? Auxiliary. All right. Of, of any tense, okay? So, for example, guys, when I say you know what question tags tags are, what is the auxiliary here, guys? Are. are. No. Nope. Oh, no. You know, okay. Let's let's say, guys. Okay, right. Well, I'm gonna give you more examples, guys. But but just 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 you know for warming up, guys. No. Yeah. All right. Just for warming up. All right. If I if I told you guys. Um. You know what I mean, okay? Let me ask you something here. If I said, you know what I mean? Don't you? Okay. You would say, don't you, right? But why? Because, okay, guys, think about it like this, okay? Let's, let's forget about, let's forget about tag questions, okay? Let's talk about uh, a regular question, right? How would you say a regular question like this? How would you turn this into a regular question? Remember, guys, when you don't have exactly right, when you don't have guys, when you don't see the auxiliary, there is the auxiliary, okay? Mm -hmm. There is the auxiliary do, right? It's like saying you, all right, and then do, right? You do know what I mean, okay? So here, there is an invisible auxiliary, all right? So what do you do, guys? If you were gonna make a regular question, you would say, do you know do you what I mean? Got it? Know what I mean. All right. So in the first example, guys, I'm saying, you know what, question, what questions tags are, right? You know what question uh, questions uh, tags are. Now, right. how would you transform this into a question? Just not, not a tag question, guys, into a question, into a regular question. Do you, do you know, know? Do you know right know. remember guys there is an invisible yeah. right yeah. there is an invisible auxiliary here right this would be yeah. do right do so know. here this would turn into a do you know what question uh, tags uh, are, are right 
Yeah. So this would be the question. Now, with that being said, guys, you know that you have to focus on the auxiliary, right? So taking a look at the second example, right? We still have, we still have a sentence, right? If not, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, you have heard, heard them, uh, heard them before. Before. All right. I'm sure you have heard them before, right? So here, guys, what tense is this? What is the auxiliary here? How, how, how. Have, right? It's yeah, in present, perfect. present perfecto. Very good. Okay. It's in present perfect, right? Very good. All right. So since we, we already identified the auxiliary, we know that we're going to use it. All right. So here, this is the reason why you know you're going to use haven't you, right? All right. Now, you're going to notice, guys, that the verb, I mean, the tag question is in the opposite. I mean, yeah. it's it's negative if the yeah. if the sentence is positive, right? But we're gonna see yeah. that later, okay? All right. So I got another example here. All right. So uh, what is the definition of a small of a tag question, Caesar? A question, a tag question, a question tag is a small question at the end of a statement. Question tags are used when asking for agreement or confirmation. Very good, beautiful pronunciation, man. Right. Good job. All right. It's a question at the end of the statement. That's it, okay? It's it's like the nosy, the nosy one. Do you know what nosy means? Nosy. Nosy. Nosy is someone who nosy. <laughs> gets in your business without, you know, someone who gets in, in people's businesses, okay? And do you know what I mean in people's in people's businesses? Un metido, right? That's, that's yeah. what it is, okay? <laughs> okay. Right? A nosy person, right? So, anyways, guys. Um so, so it's, you know, we have the sentence and then we got the nosy person, right? And the nosy person in this case, that would be that, that question. So anyways, think about this, okay? Everything needs a balance, guys, okay? This is just like a balance, okay? If you have something positive, you have to have something negative. Yes? All yes. right. It doesn't happen in all cases. We're gonna go over those exceptions, right? There are very few exceptions is where that doesn't happen. But right now we're not gonna talk about that, okay? All right, so you got the positive statement and then you got the negative type question, which is the small piece, right? At the end of the sentence, the nosy one, right? So for example, right? If I said, uh, you are a student, what would be the type question? I mean, I mean, would it be the, why would it be in the in, in negative guys? All right. All right. All right. Very, Very good, because the sentence is positive, okay? okay? Yeah. Very good. So if the sentence positive, guys, then the tag question should be negative, negative. right? Yeah. Very good. Notice, notice, guys, that the subject needs to agree with the subject that we have here. Got it? So these two share a connection. You're not going to say you are a student, aren't they? Right? <laughs> no, because you're still talking about you, all right? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with this tomorrow. Um, this is the third week, guys. We're just gonna have one more week, and um, just progress through the through the platform. Uh, you guys are pretty responsible, so I, I really I really trust you with this. Okay, um, come, guys. Okay, come. Even if you finish the platform, remember I yesterday I told you. If you want to, you know, continue into the next module, you should come to class, okay? I might have the next module. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure, actually, because I need to change my schedule. <laughs> but, um, but you know, maybe perhaps I see you there, right? So I don't know. Right? But, but if you want to be there, guys, please, you know, um, even if you're working, right, remember attendance is, like, uh, of the utmost importance, okay? All right. So anyways, guys, do you have any questions so far? Any comments, anything, anything that you want to share with the class? No, sir. Great. Very good. So far, so good. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for joining today. Okay. I'll Thank see you, you tomorrow. Take care, Thank guys. You. Bye. Bye. Be safe, guys. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye.